Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC. I'm back for a new video, and in this video, I am bringing you guys a 2K defense that nobody knows about. The 2K didn't even know that they put into the game. That no one really knows that this defense existed. I don't think I don't think one person who plays 2K plays this defense because it is a brand new defense that nobody knows about. 2K, the, this is not a regular zone defense that 2K put in. It's like a different. It's a type of zone defense. But 2K did not put it in, but at the same time they did. You'll get what I'm saying later on. But right now that might kind of sound a little tricky and it might take a minute to process. I know, but when I explain this to you guys, you guys will get it. All right, so uh, thank you guys. I want to say thank you guys on my last defensive tutorial. You guys get hit the 50 like goal. Let's do that again because my 50 like goal was hit. I think I like 65-ish, almost 70. I'll say thank you guys for the support on that. And since you guys hit the like goal of 50, I am bringing another defensive tutorial video. And this one. I debated about doing just because nobody knows about it really at all. You guys hit 50, so I'm bringing you guys another one. I got tons of defense tutorials coming soon. So as soon as this video hits 50 likes, I will record another defensive tutorial video and upload it as soon as it hits 50 likes. So the like goal for this video is 50. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. Also, turn on those notifications. And yeah, so let's just get into the video right now. So in this video, I am I am going to be doing... The a scrimmage between the Warriors and the Cavs defense is going to be a little tricky. So what you guys want to do is go into the 3-2, okay? Now go, after you hit the 3-2, go to your defensive settings. Oh yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, this is going to be on auto do Now before I get into defensive settings, for those of you guys who are wondering what this zone defense is called. It is called the 1-2-2 zone defense. So like I said, you're going to want to click the 3-2 defense and then go straight to the settings. Now, I'll show you guys the settings in one second. Time to go to the off ball pressure. Off ball pressure is tight. You guys are going to want to have your wing players play tight on their wing. Don't deny ball because then you'll get blown by. Do not deny ball. Play tight on the wing so your guys can come up and be in those passing lanes most of the time. Force direction, you're going to want to go baseline because you're going to have pretty much a lot of help. And uh, like you're going to have a lot of help in this 1 2 2 uh, defense. So force them baseline. Don't force them middle because if you force them middle, this, they might break it. All right, you force them baseline. On ball screen, go over. Remember how I told you guys in 2-3 defense, always go over the always go over the on ball screen. Because remember how I told you guys in 2-3 defense, you guys are going to have help on zone. There's going to be help everywhere in zone. So you guys are going to want to go over. And if you get blown by, you're going to have help. But if you go under, it's very, very easy for that player to shoot over you and knock down that three-point or mid-range shot over your face. So always make sure you guys go over. Always. Hedge doesn't really matter that much. Keep that on automatic. On ball screen for the center, same thing as like the on ball screen, just always go over because you can't, you don't want to go under because like I said, he'll shoot over you if you go under easily. So always go over on the screens, on ball screens. Like I said, head doesn't really matter. Stay attached, this does matter. Do not stay attached. You stay attached to him, right? But let's say you're in zone and you stay attached to him. You get caught in the screen, you can't stay attached to him. You get caught in the screen, the guy shoots it in your face, it's a three or mid-range shot. Or they can just blow by and break down your zone defense. So do not stay attached. I repeat, do not. This is one of the important ones. Do not stay attached. Off-ball screen, same thing with the on-ball screen. Go over. Even if, you, even if you get blown by on the off-ball screen, you will still have help from your big man and the other people playing their zones. Always go over because if you go under, they'll shoot in your face. Post it doesn't really matter too much, but I would say the one thing you cannot do for this is don't, don't front him. Okay, because that that might like mess up your zone defense because if you front him and he makes a move on you to the basket, then the other guy from the other block is going to help over. And as soon as he helps over, he can make a diagonal pass to the corner. And when he makes that diagonal pass to the corner, the corner guy can either shoot it or make that extra pass to the wing and get great ball rotation for a three. So don't do that. Do not, like, I'm not sure if you guys got that, so I'll repeat it again. Do not go in front of the post do not do that I know I have that on right now but I'm just gonna sh I'm just showing you guys do not do that okay stay behind double team perimeter double team post do not double team keep that on manual this is a regular zone defense this is not a trap defense so yeah don't don't um don't double team the post don't do that it's a regular zone defense pre-rotate always 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 have this on yes always have your players pre-rotate because this is a zone defense. You want them to rotate. This is a zone defense, not a trap, not a man. Always have them rotate. Always have them be in the right spot at the right time. So, yeah. 
Help drive rules doesn't really matter because you're gonna have that rotate on. So help drive rule just keep that on automatic because you already have the rotate on. Rotation is kind of like the same thing as helping in a way. I prefer to rotate over help. I don't really like help because it kind of screws it over a little bit. But the rotation is the key. Pre-rotate is the key. Keep that on yes. Otherwise, drive help rules doesn't matter. Center pressure, you can't even do anything about that. So yeah. That is the defensive setting for the 1-2-2 two, two zone defense. Anyway, it doesn't really matter who you guys, you guys can control whoever you want. I mean, so you're gonna sometimes you're going to want to control Curry and have him play tight up top. Sometimes you're going to want to control Durant, Clay Thompson. It doesn't really matter who you control. I mean, it is a half 3-2, half zone. So, I mean, if you don't control the right people at the right time, it might go to a... Three, it might go to a 3 2 instead of a 1 2 2, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, they just they scored and they were both like, I wasn't really in my defense, so yeah. Um, that's not really saying anything about them scoring. <laughs> no way, LeBron LeBron for mid with Draymond right in his face. No way that junk's going in. That's already one stop in a half court setting. All right, see, 1 2 2, every, everything's pretty much covered. I see the corner right there, I am there. Now, everybody rotates back. Now, Curry gets up top, Curry's right there. Everybody's in the passing lane, this 1 2 2. Curry gets up, Clay Thompson, you see? See how it's a 1-2-2 two, two, and it's extended too? Doesn't really open that much. Curry's guarding him up top. Ah, oh, that's terrible on ball defense on my part. But he's there to steal anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Draymond was right there in the passing lane, Durant dunks it. So yeah, attempt number two is a steal in this 1-2-2. Two, two. Now, same thing. I'm going to want to control Curry up and keep my guards, keep my forward and my shooting guard extended on the wings. Always keep them extended and play tight with Curry. Always play tight. It has them extended. See how Curry's in a pass lane right there? The 1-2-2 two, two right here. Everything is covered. Everything is covered. I don't... Everything is covered. Nope. Traveling. Let's go. Here, this is a 1-2-2 two, two right here. Exactly. Exactly. Perfect defense. He passes the corner. If he passes the corner, Kevin Durant... If he passes the corner, Kevin Love right here, I'm switching to Kevin Durant and getting that steal. Everything is covered as 1-2-2. Two, two. I'm going to... I'm going to switch to Durant. I'm going to guard everything. I'm going to switch to Durant. I'm going to steal it. See, everything is covered. No way. No way. Great deal. Okay. That was great, great, great defense. If there was a shot clock, I'm pretty sure that shot clock would have been winding down. Since this is a scrimmage, there isn't really any rules like besides out of bounds and maybe like traveling and those basic rules. There's not really any rules like hard fouls and just rules like that in, in a scrimmage. You know what I'm saying? It's just a scrimmage. So yeah, no shot clock at all. I wonder if I could switch it to this, put the shot clock on. I don't think I can. I can't touch any of the settings, so. I, we're just gonna have to like pretend there's a shot clock and you know what I'm saying, but yeah, <laughs> I can't touch the settings. One, two, two again, setting it up, and he went off the screen. See how he went over? Perfect example of always going over the screen. He went over right there, so therefore LeBron, I was able to contest LeBron's shot. If I went under, LeBron would have shot it wide open. Always go over, and even if LeBron did go by me, I still had help from my teammates. They were still there to help me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's a perfect example of always going over on screens. Do not go under. In real life, in real game, that would have been a foul by Durant. But yeah, since it's not a real game, um, it's not really a foul. And I'm not set up my defense, and he still clinks that. Oh my. Zaza made it in for them. Look at that. Zaza tipped it in. Look. Tip by Zaza. In. Alright, everybody gets back, set it up. Set up a little bit. Okay. Oh, that was almost a steal. Wade in the corner. Okay, hand in the face. We'll let Wade shoot that. We all know Wade has like a 60, 50 to 63 point. But 2K has this weird logic. All right. And Draymond is down in the corner. That's fine. I'm just doing this. This is defense. Everybody pressures up. Everybody gets in the lane. The bro okay. They keep running in transition. I'm not back on transition. All their points came from transition. Okay. Uh, they have 17 points. I'm about to like, I mean, Almost all came from transition. As I showed you guys, when I'm in a half court setting and I'm in a half court defense, they don't score. But when I'm in there in a fast break setting, they're probably gonna score. I mean, they're in a fast break setting. I ain't, my defense is not set up. Okay, get back. Everybody gets back. Set it up. Draymond stop ball. Draymond stop ball. Everybody sets it up. That's a steal. I'm in a passing lane. Great defense, Clay Thompson. See, when I'm back and I'm actually playing defense and I'm back, they're not gonna score. Even the computer. Like the computer scores a lot more efficiently than people on my online, in my opinion. And when you play against a domination in the computer, they score a lot more efficient than people online. Okay, way in the corner of the hand in space. We'll let them shoot that. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Also, know your personnel of who's out there and who you have on your wing. Like, if that was Kevin Love, that probably would have been money. And I would have to probably have switched on to that player and guarded him. But yeah. That's so always know your personnel. We will let Wade just keep shooting up threes in the zone. That's fine. That's a W for us, in my opinion. 
probably going to show two more uh, settings. One, two, two. Curry gets up. Everybody's back. Yep, everybody's back. Curry pressures up. That corner pass. I saw that. I saw that corner pass. I got a hand in the face. I was there. I rotated there perfectly in time. That's a one, two, two. That's great defense by Durant. Oh, he fumbled it though. All right. Last possession right here for the Cavs. I don't think they could score on my half court. Um, half court one, two, two. They scored four points without being transition buckets. So, and a half court setting right here. They are very inefficient. They're about two of nine or two of ten. Like they're they are very inefficient when it comes to a half court setting. One, two, two. Everybody set up. I see the corner pass. That's not. That's not. Nope. That's Tristan Thompson. We're gonna let him. We're gonna sag off Tristan. And we're gonna guard everything else. Shot clock should be around eight seconds right now. And we see that Dwayne double teamed in the corner. Waited. We will let keep letting Wade shoot though. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. All right. I have no problem with Wade. Just keep yakking those up. And you can see Wade's not hitting really anything. Dre in the corner. Bang. Okay. That is even the tutorial. The one two one one two two zone. Now, this is the first time I did run it, and I would say I like it. Although. I don't think it's as good as a 3-2. I think it's better than a 2-3, but not as good as a 3-2, okay? I'm going to do... This is my opinion on it. This isn't... This is... Okay, in my opinion, it goes 3-2, 1-2-2, and 2-3, in my opinion. Now, I am going to try and find... See if I can find a way to do the 1-3-1 one, one in 2K. Now, I found out a way to do the 1-2-2. Two, two. Now, I am going to try my best to go do some research and find a way to put up the 1-3-1 one, one zone in this game. Because there is a way to do it. If I can do the 1-2-2 two, two zone, I can prop most likely find a way to do the 1-3-1 one, one zone. And if I do the 1-3-1 one, one zone, oh my goodness. It might be GG. 2K would just be all just be ridiculously broken if I find the 1-3-1 one, one zone in 2K18. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. All of you guys who gave me a like already. All of you guys who commented. All of you guys who joined me before. I really do appreciate it. 50 likes for another defensive save tutorial. It's YBC. I'm out. Peace.